Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Danny the Man. Today's video, we're gonna be installing this tub drain. This is a universal tub drain. Now, keep in mind that there's different size tub drains that are out there, so don't get confused of the two. So just buy universal, you'll be fine every time. Typically, the universal ones go on the really, really small tubs and older tubs. Uh, and typically, your newer construction have the bigger drains. So, with that said, let me show you what we got going on. All right guys, so the drain we're replacing is this drain here. Now this is a 1960, 70s home, so the piping was a lot smaller back then. Uh, typically, we use larger drains for the new construction. Now, there's two ways to take that drain out. Okay, one way of doing it is putting your tin snips or large pliers and basically turning it like that, okay? That wasn't too bad. Or you can go to Home Depot and grab one of these drain removal kits. Now, these teeth basically just fall into the drain and you have this little Allen key here for leverage and all you wanna do is turn it like that. I will leave a link in the description below if you guys wanna order one of these or one of these. <laughs> these are my tin snips. These are for cutting metal uh, studs, but they do a lot of other things. So anyhow, with that said, let's go ahead and remove this drain. Okay, just pop that out. Ew. All right, now, underneath here, is a rubber washer okay so this kit i bought at ace hardware um we're obviously not going to need the top piece we already have one at the top of the tub so we're just going after the drain. all right so this trim kit has um, a screw on piece for the larger drains and one underneath for the smaller drain so the one that we need is the all middle fitting all right so we don't need this one this is for the uh, bigger drains so we'll set that aside we are after this one all right guys you don't have to use this but I always go to my cheap insurance pipe thread sealant I put this stuff on everything um, you just never want a water leak it'll ruin your day All right, so I'm just gonna put some in here. All right guys, just a side note, I put thread sealer on all my plumbing fittings. Um, I think it's just cheap insurance in the long run. Uh, I go into homes all the time fixing other people's mistakes because of issues like this. Um, not to say that it can't happen to me, but that's just my line of work. I'm very busy fixing plumbing issues where water's getting out, molds starting to show up. So go the extra mile on it and just put thread sealer on everything where it's required. It, it won't hurt. So anyway, that's what I do. A lot of plumbers don't do it. A lot of plumbers call me out and say, hey, why are you doing that stupid? Don't do that. You're gonna introduce more leaks, but I fix leaks constantly. Maybe it's because I don't do new construction because I'm always repairing things that happen 10, 15 years down, down the road. And I think a lot of uh, contractors or other tradesmen don't see that side, so. Anyhow, the life of a handyman, right? All right, next we're gonna put our plumber's putty. We're gonna put that underneath the drain. So what I do is I just grab a ball of it and kind of just roll it in your hands like that. Okay, so I prefer plumber's putty over the washers that come with it. I just think that these can get warped and have potential leaks okay so plumber's putty works best in my opinion all right so now we're going to put this inside probably take this off for now okay so we're just going to push down and now we want to find the threads in the drain. Be careful not to cross thread it, which can happen. 
So what I do is I usually back it out and press and then rotate clockwise. And this will allow me to try to grab the threads without stripping them. Okay, so just keep turning until it starts to get nice and tight. All right, once it's nice and tight, go ahead and torque it down just a little bit more. There we go. All right, now with the extra putty, all you want to do is just pull it off and it stays nice and clean. I'll wipe the edges off and that's it. Then you just want to put your stopper on, twist that in, twist that in nice and tight. Okay, and that's it. Job complete. All right guys, that concludes this video. Pretty simple, right? Not too bad. So if you guys don't know what size drain you have, just get the universal kit, you'll be just fine. That way you're not making multiple trips back to Home Depot, unless you could take the actual old one with you, then you'll be good to go. All right, video you have sign out. Remember, stay confident you guys can tackle this stuff too. I'll see you on the next remodel. Take care.